Hey guys, Scott here. Today in this video, we're going to look at the sticky holster as a concealed carry holster. And will this, you know, and look at it, how it functions and all that, tell you a little bit about it, some of the advantages and disadvantages and all that. But, you know, and I'll be doing a second video as this holster relates to sling bags and backpacks and how will it function in those uh, items that have concealed carry compartments. So let's go ahead and jump into this. But before this, before we get into the details of this holster, let me take care of some uh, housekeeping here. First of all, Sticky Holster provided me this holster to do some testing and evaluation on backpacks and sling bags. But having this and having a time to, to utilize this as a regular holster, I felt I needed to do that one first. So that's what this video will be about today. Uh, second of all, this firearm is not loaded. It was checked beforehand. Um, it does have a barrel block mag block on here. So just for safety reasons. Um, so that's that. And just lastly, hey guys, if you can hit that subscribe button there in the bottom right, you'll see the little icon there in the video. So let's go ahead and jump right into this, um, to this video here. So what is a sticky holster? This is a super non-slip material that uses little pressure to adhere and to uh, retain, to re provide retention for the firearm. You know, not similar to your Kydex or your hybrid holsters that use some type of uh, screws to re retain it or uh, some type of clipping mechanism that goes around the trigger guard or if you have a light around the light to hold the, the holster in place. So there's no loops, there's no clips, so you're not worried about, you know, boot, uh, belt or anything like that. This is purely an inside the waistband holster. It's not, they don't make it for it outside. I don't remember seeing on their website that they did provide something that you can convert this to a, have provide a clip that it would hold on. So I apologize for that, but definitely check out their website. So very nice. So what are the advantage of this? Per, first of all, it's very comfortable. I mean, you know, Kydex is hard. It's very rigid. There's you know, it doesn't give or play. This is very nice. This thing is very comfortable to wear because look at it. It's very small, it's very slim, and it definitely works. So that's one advantage. So, and how does it work? Basically, if my hands here go around it, so basically that's the outside, that's the waistband of your pants. My thumb would be the your body. So the retention is that. So basically, there we go. And then there's, okay, for those who say, well, turn it upside down and will it come out? Well, if I have that retention, no. And when will I ever be in a position where uh, my firearm is in that position? And that's probably, I'm being held over a 10-story balcony by my feet, ready to be dropped on my head. So, no. So there we go. That is the retention. So it won't go. Yes, if I release that Yes, it's going to slide out. But unless, how else are you going to break that retention unless somebody pulls my pants off and then the gun is loose. So that is an advantage. And I think it's an advantage when it comes to Kydex. You know, it, you know as I've been playing with this and carrying this thing, I realized, you know, everybody says, oh, the retention, it's got the retention. It's, it's rigid and all this stuff. Yeah, and it's very uncomfortable. Yes, but you can put it upside down and it won't shake. But like I said, unless I'm being held over a balcony, it's never going to be in that position. So, but if I'm in a, where I'm in a struggle and I'm fighting somebody, if this breaks, if this retention breaks, this gun is loose. So, right? You know, unless I get that back in, that gun is loose. And where that goes, if I'm in a fight and I don't realize the, the retention broke, that gun is coming out. The difference is with the sticky holster, my body, my waistband of my pants is that retention. So no matter what I'm struggling, that is not going to break unless that person gets a hold of that firearm 
and pulls it out, which they can do even with the Kydex. So to me, that's a great advantage over the Kydex holster. Two things, it's very comfortable. Second of all, the retention is way, much be is way better than the Kydex because it can't be broken unless your pants get pulled off of you. Now, the one disadvantage I did find, because they do recommend this to be used, you can use this with uh, athletic wear, and they promote it to you know women with yoga pants and all that. I think there's a point on the size of the firearm where this will not work with athletic wear. You know, I wore sweatpants around the house using my Kimber Mako, and it was okay. I felt comfortable with it, but I'm not sure I would go out all day for eight hours or longer in sweatpants or athletic shorts using this with anything above a micro, and this was kind of borderline. Now, you know, if I wanted to carry an LCP Max or the new Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 2, oh yeah, all day long, I think you would feel comfortable carrying that with this. And even women with um, yoga pants and all that would feel comfortable wearing this. So, you know, that is a couple of things here. So what else does, they have accessories for this. They have a, a tummy, uh, belly belt, tummy belt, whatever you want to call them, that will, this will wrap in and carry so you can do a, uh, that type of thing. It also has a, a system where you can attach this to your uh, center console so when you pull it up, this holster is here and you can pull it out so there's no, you know, other than buying that part, you know, you have that. Uh, it also has ankle and again, I think it's going to be depending on the size of the firearm that you're gonna to wanna to use the ankle uh, belt, or they call it an ankle biter. So it will wrap around. And I think again, you know, if you're gonna do that, it would be more of your LCP Max or your um, Smith & Wesson uh, Bodyguard 2 type uh, firearm. So <clears throat> definitely has a lot of advantages um, and all that, very comfortable. Um, here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tuck it in, right? There it is, as an appendix carry. And I'll be honest with you, and, and we all know, appendix carry is not the most comfortable, especially if you're sitting. And it's all gonna depend on, you know, the type of where you're sitting in. If you're sitting in a sports car, like a Corvette or something, that's very low, no, this thing is gonna dig into you. But, you know, walking around, you know, everything is fine. So definitely very comfortable, easy to get to, and all that, and then here, Slipping it over there, and I'm left-handed, so I would be more at like the 10, 10, 30 so, uh, position. Again, easy to grab and all that, so definitely would work. Now, I know I've talked to a friend of mine who's a, a firearm instructor, and you know, if you watch some of the reviews, everybody says, well, what about reholstering? Well, once you pull your gun out for in a self-defense situation or a threat, you're not gonna reholster until you know that threat situation is neutralized. So reholstering it, yeah, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it out and then you're gonna stick it back in. So reholstering is not an issue. People wanna make it an issue because with the Kydex, you're able to reholster it while it's still in your waistband. But you're never gonna reholster unless you have that threat neutralized. So to me, that's, it's not really a disadvantage at all. You know, it's just a mindset. So, I mean, definitely, I would highly recommend it. Um, I will be to watch it. Watch for another video. I will be doing it on the uh, sling bag and the backpack coming up shortly. So, all right, guys, uh, I hope you did like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And again, definitely subscribe to this channel. All right, guys, be safe.